could say yes. So, hey, my name is Nigeria Chambers from Big Go Belt Media. Roger, it's honored to talk to you today about your new film, Beautiful Wedding, which is the sequel to the film Beautiful Disaster, which is coming to digital, on demand and digital February 13th. Roger, how you doing? Good, man. How are you? Good, good. I'm very happy to see this film. Um, I was a fan of Beautiful Disaster and, um, you know, we know how film and television works. Sometimes you want things that doesn't happen, but uh, thank you (laughs) for getting back to work with this for the sequel. Um, It was all I needed to the point that by the end of this interview, I'm going to be requesting that you make this a trilogy. Uh, But considering just your body of work. My family would be very happy if you you tell that to the studio. Thank you. (laughs) Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, just considering your body of work and your tenure of of making film um, in, in Hollywood, um, Cruel Intentions is is really one of the best films of all time. Um, I want to start off by asking, just getting to this point of your career, still doing it at a very high rate. Um, I would even go as far as saying uh, using your platform, your notoriety to really establish other actors. I, I think when you see some of these folks that you've continued to work with, you start to think there must be something special with them because you keep attaching them to projects. Uh, Virginia is just one name that easily jumps out to me who's just phenomenal. And then some other names we'll talk about in a second. Uh, but just to this point now, which, what, 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 does, what, what is that motivation that, this, that, that keeps you going at this rate? My children's spending habits? No. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I bet you there's some truth to that. <laughs> All right. You're keeping me up, man. Um, <laughs> now, um, I don't know what else to do with my life. Um, you know, I love telling stories, you know. I mean, it's and and just I'm so grateful to have the opportunity to, to do it, really. Yeah. You know, it, just when you think it's over. Yeah. Uh, when you're like, I'm out of ideas, I'm done. And then like you get like this other kind of sprint, you know, like a third act or a fourth act. I don't know where it comes from. It's a higher power for me, you know, like the movie God or whatever. And then yeah. you're off to the races again. Um, so I, I'm just, you know, for lack of a better way, filled with gratitude that uh, I get to do this. Yeah. Yeah. And I thank you. And and, and I, again, like I mentioned, when, when we go back to speaking of, you know, cruel intentions, I mean, looking at your cast there, then you go back how many, many years ago, because the movie still stands so strong right now. You almost think it came out it's, just a few years ago, right? It's it's 25th anniversary this year. Wow. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. I, yeah. My wife and I, we were just in London, you know, we, the a musical launched of it nine years ago and, uh, they uh, they're doing it right off on the West End, and uh, um, it's a really incredible show. Um, I don't really see a dime from it, so I'm I'm just saying it as a fan. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you if anyone's of your of your fans are in London, it's it's really worth the visit. It's a it's a it's a blast. It's like it has all the '90s songs, and oh. uh, it's it's so great. That's that's um, amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And, and like, it, again, you look at that cast and look where their trajectory of their career being uh, Reese easily jumps out and Sarah and so on. Uh, and, and then you look at this nucleus, this this cast, not only did you have for Beautiful Disaster, but the, the cast returning fully for Beautiful Wedding, which is not, you know, for somebody who critiques films and, and, and understands the business here. That's not a given. I think again, that's a testament to who you are as a person, your body of work. That these folks are saying, "Hey, we're coming back." If you got an idea, we're coming back. And I ultimately think, looking right now at this point, when you look at the folks such as Alex who joins this one, um, but as I mentioned, uh, Jeannie and Libby and Mickey and Neil, I think we're going to be having this conversation in about twenty years about this the greatness that you're creating right now with this with this franchise. So taking a look of your cast. What what is it about them? What are some of the things that stand out to you? What are some of the pleasures in having them a part of your team? I mean, they're they're phenomenal actors, you know, and uh, uh, they're just a 
because of COVID, um, when we made the first one, uh, you become kind of like a family, you know, because we were in Bulgaria and, uh, you know, you're kind of in this hotel and you're not really going out with anyone and it's Bulgaria. <laughs> so it's not, you're not going, you know, it's not like making a movie in LA or New York where you're right. off with your friends. And uh, so you become close and you become like a family besides the fact that they're incredibly talented. So getting to know them on the first one, I could see where their strengths lie, you know? Um, and uh, on this one, uh, you know, it was kind of a rush to make this movie because the studio kind of gave me, said, we want to make it by the end of the year. Yeah. Um, and I was like, okay, well, here's kind of a story I want to tell. Um, and I knew what the actors could handle. Um, it was very similar to a movie I made years ago called Just Friends when we were like locked. We were making it in a place called Regina, Saskatchewan, where it was like negative 40. <laughs> we couldn't go out because it was so cold and we were hanging out at, at Ryan Reynolds, um, a place that he rented. And we just workshopped the script like a play. And we just hung out every night, made pasta and, and just workshopped it and rewrote it together and, and just fine-tuned it it was the same experience with this yeah. uh where where i treat it kind of like a little theater troupe you know mm. Mm. um that's where you kind of get that collaborative energy yeah and i think also establishing culture i think it, it, to have a set and 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 family um, in the sense that 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 it establishes this level of comfort, uh, folks being able to be themselves, but you also still being able to wear the hat to really see and place these people in the, in their best position. I think that's why you just continue to make good films and really just the the, the stars of the future. Honestly, I I think we're going to be seeing a lot of this cast, this nucleus right here. I think we're going to be seeing them for a very very long time walking across the stage in March or whatever month they're going to change it to next um, over and over, because I think that um, I, I think it's really important, especially in the beginning of folks career to understand the positive sides that, that the communal side of, of Hollywood and thus giving them an opportunity to, to do what they do best, which is why I'm such a fan of yours and just a fan of this cast. It was just a no brainer. I wanted to check this out. Yeah, I really appreciate that. I mean, you know, with like, it was great. Cause like when we were, when this was kind of, when we wrapped Beautiful Disaster, Fall had come out. So you saw Ginny do a completely different genre. And and that movie has kind of caught on now. So you're like, oh, good. I bet on the right person. Um, <laughs> Dylan, we all knew was great because everybody yeah. grew up with him. Yeah. And then my uh, good friend of mine, uh, Jonas Pate, had made Outer Banks. So I had, uh, you know, I knew Austin, but I knew that he was doing something completely different um and i said i want to but this guy's comedy gold let's <laughs> push him and i think where the the comedy in this i you know everyone's coming out of covid and, and 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 you know the culture and the times of being it was so serious and i yep. was like i just wanted to make something off the wall yeah just you know, see if i can Make something where everybody could just laugh. And we know? needed it. A, a thousand percent. And we needed it. And I'm glad because you're right. Everything was very political at the point and very dark and 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 and, and gritty. And, and fine, there's definitely a place for that. But since the world around us and the escape from it was Hollywood and always has been Hollywood, for that to have the same tone felt like we were just in this revolving circle of like, mild depression so it was good to have these type of films and yeah i always like to commend the independent filmmakers for their work and the folks that risk their lives to go out there and do these things because um this this was a part of the change and i think the new era of cinema we're now also too independence is getting the adequate love that it deserves you know it's not just about the big budgets anymore it's about the folks that's going out there uh, with the the micro budgets that's putting out projects that if i like to call it the houdini act because it looks like it's a lot more than what it is but it's still very solid works here no absolutely yeah i know i i always uh I, you could count on me to bring the stupid uh i have no problem <laughs> My I, God. i'll take it <laughs> there's no <laughs> if i can get people to laugh that's that's the award I, i'll take you know
Absolutely. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, and, and then going back to Alice in Virginia, uh, Jenny, um, they did the film See You on, Ven on Venus, which I thought was a fantastic film. I'm curious if you've seen that and was that any part of realizing, and I, and I know Alice worked on Pretty Little um, Liars with you, but yeah. was that ever a part of them saying like, I think there's absolutely something I need to capitalize with the two of them in my next project? Yes. Um, yeah, because uh, I was in the editing room by, the, you know, I would duck my head in because they'd say, would you look at this? And, and you know, so you're always trying to help everybody. Yeah. Uh, it's my attitude as a filmmaker, especially with a comedy where you're like, I'm like, could you guys please watch this and tell me if it's funny? Because I've lost perspective. <laughs> um, you know, anytime you ask for help, people are, you know, they want to help, you know, like yeah. Does this joke land. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> my, have I lost my mind? Um, <laughs> so, so yeah. So, and I've known Alex. Yeah. He's amazing. And, and I, and, uh, I wanted him to uh, do something different than I see you on Venus. Yeah. Yeah. He's such I, a I, great guy. Oh, a, a thousand percent. A thousand percent. I, I, I have an opportunity to interview them um, a little over a year ago now and just really um, getting to know them and appreciation for the work. I, I, I just could imagine just how much fun it is on set with yourself and all of them. Um, the gag rule in the trailer for this was definitely just the tip of the iceberg. If you ask me, I was like, I, which I got in my notes, make sure I ask Roger to release all of that. Cause I know you probably got like another hour worth of film you can release on that no. note. <laughs> we do. Uh, but uh, the, the other thing is with this cast and I, and again, I think it's a testament to the coach you create is it seems like everybody is willing to do anything that's kind of thrown at them again to spotlight virginia you got her wrestling then you got her playing in mud i mean from scene to scene it just seems like she's like all right let's do it let's do it and i think everybody even from the transformation of certain characters the the a range of comedy that we're getting uh it just seems like everybody's very willing to buy in could you could you talk a little bit about um, what's special about your cast and the connection y'all have in order to really pitch these ideas and them being on board for it? Um, well, I think, you know, first of all, with anything that deals with uh, the sexual culture, what's great about making movies today is you have an intimacy coordinator. And uh, I, Corinne Evans, who I used on the last movie, so there's a shorthand there. And I go, this is the intent um, go talk to the actors first. So you have a, you know, and, and that's a really great, uh, tool that came out of, uh, um, um, whatever time's up or me too, or everything where it, it's, I love it. Uh, and I find it really, uh, helpful. Yeah. Um, so that, that helps with that process where you can create a safe kind of situation the mud, I, I'm usually, you know, if you see the, uh, maybe they'll release in the EPK, I'm usually rolling in the mud with them. <laughs> because you can't, it's so loud with the rain towers and all that. I can't, I can't call out direction. Yeah. Um, so I'm literally right. Uh, there's a take where I'm right next to them. You know, just <laughs> say, do this, do this, do this. So they at least know I'll I'll get in. I'm not like sipping a a, a a frappuccino in a warm tent. I'll 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 get in there with them. But they're real sports to do it. Yeah, that's amazing. That's amazing. Um, as we have to wrap, as I mentioned very early, I'd be remiss if I didn't say that I'm cheerleading for the trilogy here. So, is there anything in the works? Is there uh, uh, uh another film to this are you thinking spinoff i would be down for something with america and shepley um is there anything else in this franchise left or I'll is there say any never. projects uh, okay. i would never say uh, no that's uh, that's up to my bosses i i you know um you know right now i'm 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 i just do what my wife tells me and <laughs> i show for the kids and i clean up dog shit i i <laughs> I, that's what I do, man. <laughs> you are you are solid. I swear. Well, anyway, just get back to work, and then we'll 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 catch up again and see what else you got going. Such on. a pleasure. 
Absolutely, absolutely. Roger, thanks for your time. And folks, please check out Beautiful Wedding, which is going to be available digital on demand February 13th. Have a good day today. Thanks, man. You too. Absolutely. I, 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 I,